the bell, I compared him to like a a Crayola crayon or something like mm. you know, like you know, like. <laughs> No. You like that angle? Well, I, that can work. I can't even see myself because the sun's in here, so it's not a big deal. I mean, you look cute. Yeah. Always a time, a reason, and a season. What? It's a reason, season. Time. Lifetime. Lifetime. <laughs> Looking for that soulmate. Looking for the soulmate. No, but well, you were asking me last time. You haven't you haven't been on yet, are we? Mm hmm I've just been recording in case because you always uh, oh, no, you're said, always cute, or I catch something cute, so I just read we prepared. No, well, we were saying because <laughs> we were all talking about like I always hate when someone underestimates or doubts me. That's what yeah. yeah, yeah. I said you know if I tell you I know God, I'm telling you I know God. You don't have to like you know right. you don't have to go through David, Peter, you know, and all that. All the apostles. Oh, all the apostles. I'll like introduce that. you to him. I'll introduce you to the main character. You know, <laughs> it's like we're not gonna go through the whole cycle, okay? Yeah. And then, like, I didn't, I didn't even something. think about how that came out, but you know, but it's true. It's like anyone who knows me, like when I said, "Well, you know, I, I'm not doing it to be, you know, it's obnoxious." True. Like, you oh, always I know, know where someone. to be, and you know how things are gonna go down. It's like it's like it's I see it, like for like, real. Just I call it out. You know, it's like, <laughs> oh, you know, don't doubt me. Yes. Yes, I know God. Don't, yeah. don't worry, I don't have to introduce you. You know, you know, yeah. David's cool, but you know, you know, and let me tell you, and this one and that one, and Matthew and all the others. But shit, you know, Mark, Mark, like, John, you know, all those guys, <laughs> all those guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna pause this to take you to the source, baby. Oh Ooh. yeah. <laughs> and if you can't talk to God through me, I know somebody who can help you out. <laughs> let me show you my friend. <laughs> But do, I wanted it. to, we were just out here relaxing. I have other stuff on my channel explaining why we're out here in the situation and all the interesting things that have occurred this weekend. And I think uh, this weekend and how I've documented and all the ins and outs and loop-de-doops and forgot to record some of the situations I even. You recorded more than you needed to, too, by the way. It's bad enough we need to say the other stuff, but we'll try to figure out that Point one. being, Relia has a way of making life sparkle and shine <laughs> all the time, and there's always something happening, and I think people identify with who you well, are like and how you handle situations, I work, and I know personally you've given me a lot of wisdom, so. Well, yesterday at work, someone said something to me again, you know, in reference, and they're like, then they found out. Oh, you know, oh, oh, and then they did this because, you know, I work at my Haven, you know. Mm -hmm. You want to scoot up some? I know, I feel like I'm sinking. Uh, well, I was sinking yeah. before. <laughs> a minute I mean, ago, we saved her. That's even the whole character in itself, how you're, like, you're ah! so pulled. Ah! <laughs> See, you should accident prone, I was about to say. <laughs> Scrape the back of my as leg. As lucky as you get, most of your luck goes towards not you hurting yourself. Oh, I, I hurt are my, you, I'm fine. I just scraped the back of my <sighs> Just now, of my yourself. tight calves that I have that everyone gets jealous of. I have the legs of steel, as you know. Oh. I got legs of steel, everyone. <laughs> Too bad that doesn't hold me up all the time. It needs to hold me up better, but oh well. No. Oh, no. Well, they were all going on about, you know, <laughs> even my full circle, you know, moments at work, you know, on who I know and how. And and then this, this couple was like so in awe. And I said, you know, I felt like so. I always felt pretentious for a second when I know kings and queens, and I'm all like, and I've been to this one's house and that one's house, and I go, you know what? I've even been to the shack at the late hours of the night at the at the, at the pub to the mansion in the same night, you know. And, and 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 I've always been that way. I'm very much a chameleon. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> I want to uh, say something on camera that is the elephant in the room because. Uh -oh. A lot of people don't know that you were almost the original Kardashian show just because of how you are as you treat life like you're a character of it and you're performing it. And I think that's oh, no, I like a artist, it's an artistic thing and all the way. Point being, 
there are people that will say, Morelia, you are just a name of your father, your grandfather, and you're just this, that's why you're hitting, and I think that is total bullshit, because I've seen plenty of people with names well, do absolutely nothing, and then I, I see you, technical, who is, I was, utilize it, you good? I know, I, I'm just saying that, <laughs> oh, you want to get technical now, yeah, those things are true, to one aspect of it, mm-hmm. but let me tell you, that the shows that were offered to me, who's here, were, were offered to me, for me. Right. Then everyone found out who I was related to. I need to... I want right. to, I want to make that very I clear. That's why I want to that. I want to make that very bullshit. clear. It had nothing to do with, oh, having that was an extra plus. And the fact that I had friendships and people that I knew that were entertainers mm-hmm. developed it into that. And then I got to the age where I didn't really give a shit. Or it was like, you don't give a fuck. You know, everyone said once you hit a certain age, they're like, you know, who cares? You know what I mean? Right. I mean, it was the first time someone acknowledged me as a character which I've been emphasizing constantly as opposed to being called back 22 times which I have been before and then they hired a size 2 blonde which I've never been size 2 but I've been tiny and I feel very content with myself being and but you know it just it was really awkward to always I didn't understand the politics of it until later on that, that was what was happening. It's like they almost had to keep me on a roster to keep on hanging on, hanging on, and then boom, this is what we're hiring. We're not hiring you, but mm-hmm. you know, or like, oh, you were the best in the in-house audition, but I guess we're going to hire outside now. You know, it's that, like you were too much of a wild card with your. Actually, that, that's one of the best compliments I ever received, and I received yeah, it, yeah. and I received it on the top of the line from some very executives, and they didn't. <laughs> And, you know, and I, I fought back and I said, thank you. Mm-hmm. You know, it's true because mm-hmm. they don't ever know what's going to come out of my mouth. I'm never going to do anything to mm-hmm. humiliate myself, the product, or the per- people I'm working for. I will do it in some sense of humor maybe or something like that. But I'm not going to, I mean, I'm not an idiot. You know what I mean? Let's right. just put it out there. You know, I'm not. Mm-hmm. And to question the fact, to even question me like that is unheard. I mean, it's just absurd. I mean... Mm -hmm. (laughs) It just feels like it's a dismissive kind of thing of your other words. Well, I've had to hide how smart I really am. And I did it for a long time to protect myself from the way people come in and out of your life, you know. And, and, you know, you're not around to go tell them, hey, I'm smart, hey, I'm this. You're not supposed to tell that. People are supposed to... Let your work speak for itself. And they figure it out. And, like, they find out things all the time. I mean... Even when we're filming the show and I say things and they like, <laughs> how is that even possible? Or, you know. Because I'm Marillion. <laughs> <whatever. laughs> I know, but I mean, I, I freaking know how to lasso. I, I, I'm going to bust out the lasso one of these days. The real lasso I have, but not right now. But, um, you know, but I mean, I, I do crazy stuff that I know how to do. I would be the least suspected of me as I'm sitting there sweating out in the country here, getting eaten by bugs. But, um,. <clears throat> We, we can don't. pause this and continue it in no, time. I, well, yeah, we can a little bit. But I'm just saying that it's always, that's just been my thing, I guess. I don't know. I think that you, as an individual, regardless if you were born as Cuevas mm-hmm. or if you were born as Lopez or whoever, mm-hmm. I think the what you have done with your birth name and with your circumstance is shows that yes you are more than just what's, yeah. what do they call it now the nepo baby <laughs> i have no idea <laughs> but um no but, i mean i utilize and, it to an advantage where i still used it where i could be still my name mm-hmm. even with the names involved i mean i think you, know, you would have still long... ended up where you are regardless is what i'm saying just yeah, because well, of your you know, i wonder sometimes you know if i would have stayed and and my family would have paid for me to go to school like they all said they were, you know, when I finished, mm-hmm. you know, and I, I would have been to school in San Diego. I probably would have married the, you know, major league baseball player. Mm-hmm. You know, that would have been my, that mm-hmm. would have been my thing because mm-hmm. that was totally, that's my, I like that, you know. Rich yes. men that hit each other and slap mm-hmm. each other in the ass. Isn't that nice? Woo! <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. Baseball players mm-hmm. are cute. They're good looking. They're rich and they slap each other in the ass. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> 
so wrong. Because <laughs> it makes me also think back. I was always the one that they always picked last, like in sports as a kid. Mm-hmm. I would always be the last one they picked. Mm-hmm. And that, you know, one day I got back at all of them and hit the ball that went far. But, you know, <laughs> what is this that traumatized moment? She's a bit of an athlete, you know. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah my mm-hmm. hardcore athlete, athleticism. <laughs> I don't want to get. I can box. I know. Look at that range. I, I, I can know if box. You were gonna bring it up, and I can play tennis. Oh, you know what I wanted to play that I thought about while we were out here today? Uh, croquet or coquette? Oh yeah. Croquette. Sorry, I was gonna croquet. say badminton would be good over there uh-huh. too. I have a croquette, so. Okay. Do you? I'm sure Marnie knows how to play. She's gonna teach us. Uh, Do okay. you? Marnie knows a lot of. Oh, come on. I know <laughs> things like cornhole. Actually, hey. I, cornhole. I only played that for the first time in my life. I have life horseshoes. Some of our stems are. This little stick like an actual game of it. Oh, I yeah. think. Oh, this has to be edited. <laughs> oh, scared me. How was your din dinner? It was good. Where'd you go? Thank you. Presentation.